Hey everyone, welcome to JWW. Sorry about any background noise. Um, this microphone that I'm using here is better than the built in microphone. Um, it sounds clearer, but there is an annoying, like, crackling noise, but just ignore that. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to blur images um, using Photoshop. This will work using other methods such as GIMP. Um, but I don't really know much about them, I don't have them, I just have Photoshop. So um, I'm going to try to do that. So first you need to get a picture. I'm just going to use I Google London and I just took the first picture that was there. I'm just going to use that, which I've got here. So you need to paste that in, um, or open it in Photoshop at least. Then what you're going to want to do is go to the right hand side where you can see the layers. Right click and click on duplicate layers. Ok, call it what you want, I'm just going to click OK. Then as you can see on the right, I have now got two of the same things. These are two different layers and everything. Ok, so what you then want to do is click on the layer that's at the top, which is layer 1, copy. And go filter, go down to blur. Then you want to go to Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur. Not sure how you pronounce that. As you can see here, it's blurred it. Um, that's quite a heavy blur, so you might want to um, you can tone it down a bit. So if I go right up here, then it's just going to completely blur. I think it's yeah, okay, because it's been quite slow, but it just completely blurs it. There's nothing you can see on it, and if you take it right down, you can go back to the picture. So you might want it around. Depending for the use, might want it around there. I think that's quite a cool looking um, blur. It's quite almost professional looking that you see um, in quite a lot of stuff. So um, for video making, sometimes you might do that and have text over it. Um, but you may want to have some of it unblurred. So that you want to go to the re eraser tool and just simply rub out. Everything you rub out will. Um, be rubbing out onto the layer that's below, which is this layer that's um, unblurred. So this is going to look really bad because I'm not doing anything in particular. I'm just showing you that if you rub it out, then you have the areas that are blurred in the picture, and you have the areas which is behind um, which are unblurred. So it's a cool thing to do. Um, can look quite good if you do it right. So that is it and thank you 